Just when you thought America couldn't get any worse, not only did the Supreme Court legalize discrimination today, they also ended affirmative action. If affirmative action, if you don't know what that means, because honestly I had to look it up, because affirmative action doesn't really tell you much. But a quick Google search led me to this. Uh, the practice or policy of favoring individuals belonging to groups regarded as disfavored or subject to discrimination. So it's essentially like, don't count out a black person because he's black. Basically that. Or like, if you have a million white people, maybe grab a black person, you know? Uh, it's to promote diversity. Now, whether your pins on the film of action, I think in some situations it can be cringe, but overall it's most, more than likely a good thing so that you don't get, like, f you don't not select a person because they're a minority group, you know what I'm saying? And the discrimination thing, oh, I'll get into that in a second. <laughs> so a Christian web designer was like, whoa, what if gay people want me to make a website for their wedding? Cringe. Went to the Supreme Court, even though she lives in Colorado, which has laws that bars discrimination. Uh, and, and she said, oh, it violates my free speech. Ugh. And the Supreme Court was like, okay, we're Trump appointed, so we don't like gay people. This is perfect for us. I'm in a wall. Uh, supply? No, cool. Oh, my friends. Uh, and the thing is, the lady used, wasn't one, first of all, no gay person had actually came to her and asked them to make a website uh, for their wedding. So it was completely in her head, a complete hypothetical. Uh, and second, it does not violate free speech, it's just, don't be an asshole. Now, although, so the way to combat this, which will get it repealed quicker than anything, really, would be to, uh, now that you can do that, if they say, oh, if they can discriminate me because of my sexuality, I can discriminate them for being Republican, for being, wearing Christian, for being Christian, uh, being religious in any way, this, that, the other, so... Fight fire with fire, as they say. That's, unfortunately, I wish we just lived in a country that was normal. <laughs> oh, that's gonna suck for 40 years, because these fuckers are appointed by Trump. Oh, this is why we need... Um, term limits for not just presidents. Supreme Courts, Congress members, members of par par Parliament, uh, government, all of it, you know. Oh. Look, now I'm not calling for car bombers, but I'm just saying the IRA got some stuff done, you know? Like, free speech, good thing. The f way f Americans think of free speech, absolute plague on any form of human decency. It's literally like, oh, I can be an asshole. They think, oh, I, I should be able to be an asshole and not have any repercussions. Like, freedom of speech is cool, but America has turned it into freedom from consequences, too. It's so fucking bad. Oh, and another thing that's bad. I believe this was for the Uvalde incident. The cops that were, like, being charged with, like, not protecting children were found innocent. Which I'm like, okay, that's fucked up. Lock his ass up under a bridge. Lock them all up, cowards. Although I didn't read too much about that, so I could be wrong about it being a valley, but I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, say can you see? This country is in shambles. One day we'll be a normal country. Just gotta get all the Republicans out of office first. And I'm saying that unironically. They are a plague. Especially now. I mean, before, a few years ago, like 10 years ago, they were like a little weird. Yeah, sure. They weren't as bad as they are today. Like, Trumpism has absolutely, like, ruined the Republican Party. Because all the re Republican candidates are just Trump copies. And it's just like, oh, wow. I really, you know. That's why I'm riding with Biden. As much as I'd like to vote for Marianne Johnson, or, I mean, yeah, Johnson, or is it Williamson? It's Johnson, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 
I just can't because she has no real chance to beat a Republican candidate. Wow, of course I get set on fire. Oh, we have stun grenades. We need to be using them. Um, this is unfortunate. Although I don't mind fighting for Biden. I think he's done a pretty okay job. Although I wish he'd be more aggressive on social matters, like gay pe trans gay rights and trans rights. Like, like, I think... I don't know if he'd be able to veto it, but if he was able to veto the Supreme Court thing, I would hope that he would. Oh, also, uh, student, uh, the Supreme Court blocked student debt forgiveness as well. So, once again, normal country. Until all the people are like, oh, if you, you're brought out of debt, you should bring it back. Yeah, but interest rates and the debt is so predatory on such young adults. Like, the logic is, these are the same people that say, oh, you shouldn't be able to get hormones when you're, because your mind isn't fully developed. And then they'll be like, oh, but you can take out life-ruining loans. You're emotionally mature enough for that. It's just such backwards fucking logic with these people. And now this, this is one of those episodes where I lose subscribers because I liberal. But I don't give a shit. Wow, this is... A brutal mission so far. We're getting diced up. Put that guy down. So yeah, pretty much the next 40 years are going to suck unless there's some way to get these fucks out of the Supreme Court or to, um, extend, ex 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 extend the right word? Increase the size of the Supreme Court to get some more actual human beings and not troll, like, gremlin fucking... Goblins out of the fucking... Out of the Supreme Court. Ouch. Oh, I hit that freaking dog. Please. Thank you. 
fire down the hall. Things will die. Alright. It's also amazing that that happened the last, the discrimination thing happened the last day of Pride Month. It's truly land of the free, right? Unless you're gay, brown, Muslim, not Christian. If I, I, I could be wrong, but I'm sure, sure there's a law in some places, or if not federally, where you can't say you're an atheist and take office. Which is completely regular. A regular country thing to do. Completely normal. Nothing wrong. Except, you know, everything. At least it's almost uh, giving drunk uh, dudes explosives day. I'm against fireworks as well. Ow. Yeah, that was a little scary, but we made it. Ugh. Yeah, I saw a video. I might have mentioned this before. But it was a video of, like, his family on a boat in, like, some beach somewhere in, like, the water. It seemed like a tropical area. It seemed pretty warm, pretty blue. The water, that is. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, get behind cover, please, bug. Still taking damage, even though I'm behind cover. Um, and so, a, sh a wild shark swam by, and obviously, being stupid, they tried to pick it up. The shark got the dude's pinky in its mouth and, like, twisted, and it just popped off, and you heard it, like, retch off, and it was... What was it? And his blood went everywhere, obviously, because you lost your finger. And it's funny, this itty-bitty baby shark got a snag, and also the dude was like... Re I guess the adrenaline hit instantly, because he was like, oh, I lost my damn pinky, and just walked away. I was like, oh. Guess he wasn't that attached to it. A set of procedures designed to eliminate unlawful discrimination among applicants, remedy the results of such prior discrimination, and prevent such discrimination in the future. Affirmative action as according to law in Cornell and not the dictionary. So I trust the law better. The dictionary is a little too broad. I want to eat the plasma rods. I want to put them in my mouth. I feel like they'd be cool blue flavored. Little headshot on that dude. Mm. 
Rager doesn't feel like a word. I like that. I don't. That's a. It doesn't feel like a word, you know. It just it just doesn't. To say it feels like a word would be to say like. Bing bong is a word. I don't know. Rager is one of those words, like, the more you look at it, the less it feels like a word. Just like, um, weird, tomorrow, and then, like, amazing. There's some words in English language, the more you say them or look at them, the less they feel real. Dog. What the dog doing? Something's going on. <laughs> it's <laughs> so funny to watch the x ray through the wall. Like, what's going on over there? Why are they getting thrown around like that? What is this dog doing? I might even say, what the dog doing? Oh, ew, the Rager's arm is covered in... Oh. That guy got fucking souped. Man, the dudes have so many unique animations. The little Grimbly. Thank you. Let's go another round, eh? Ready, pack down. Sun, won't you come and wash away the rain? Ow. Kill it with fire. Emperor Guide is aim and deed. Boom, bada bop, boom, pow. Oh, well, Spice and Wolf is getting another season. That's pretty exciting. The first episode of Freyrian, Freyrian, bruh, Beyond Journey's End is going to be two hours. My brother in Christ, that is a movie. Sounds like a plan to me, Stan. Lee? <laughs> ah, where did that dog come from? Oh, big plasma gun user. Back on fire. <laughs> the 
keep out of my way. Get up, Zealot. Get up, touchy Zealot. Stop touching. I just realized that that's a Catholic Church joke. Hey, oh. Ow. Oh my god. So many enemies. No, stop making a sick beat with your shotguns. I'm dying. Did no one grab the health kit that was in the thing up there? Surely someone would have grabbed it, right? Okay. Aw, oh, damn it. I gotta get up so we can... Also, the bot has cosmetics. The bot has a box com on her ear. Interesting. Very interesting. Where's this bot? This is the bot. Look at her. She has cosmetics, like full on. Is that new? I'm gonna that. I'm gonna go get these. I tried to get out before I got zapped. Oh, you don't have, oh, we might have some grenades. Oh. Mm. Well, the ammunition things are still in the first place. Juked it, even though it went through me. That's how fast Bog is. He, I disemboweled my molecules or whatever, and I. Win. Oh my! Leave me alone. Nice. We won. Victory. Supreme victory, yes. Hey, I got a penance. Raiding party. Also, I'm gonna check if the shop has, um... 
new cosmetics because that bot had new cosmetics. I don't think I've ever seen these cosmetics before. Um, our zealot was level 15. Cool, like, oh, that backpack. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong backpack. Oh, I don't remember the trencing axe being there. Is this a GoPro? No. I've never seen this cosmetic. I'm gonna check. I mean, I might have seen them before, but we will see if there's new stuff in the doohickey. Also, that guy, the other guy, was from, um, not Steam, the other one. <laughs> Microsoft Store, I think. Oh no, Gargura is gonna drink the Grimace shake. Oh no. Alright. So I opened up Discord in the loading screen, and uh, from the New York Times, six ways you can cancel your federal student loan death. And guess what one of the options is? Death. Normal country. <laughs> normal, normal country. This is a normal country with nothing is wrong. Mm, except everything. Uh, oh, there is news. Oh, that's tough. It's, it's Big Zealot. Alright, let's read the, read the lore. Unusually for an ogre, Nettie had developed a bit of taste for the finer things. He's become rather fond of expensive fabrics, elaborate patterns, gold shinies, and even food that a regular human would find palatable. This has led to his squad mates giving him the mocking Lord moniker. These quirks aside, his general will agree that Eddard is a solid, dependable warrior who can be trusted to get his hands dirty when the situation requires it. People often remark on the two skulls Eddard proudly wears around his neck, though never within earshot. Some say he talks to them at night, though no one has ever been brave enough to inquire as to their provenance. Some stories are best left untold. Uh, the question is, are the skulls trophy or the head of the Ogren's previous charges? These are good questions. Let's see him on. Ooh. Oh, the eye patch. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that is. That is tough. Also, the big shiny. Okay, let's see what these are. Oh, this is. Robocop? Hello? Uh, combat precedent in Nora. Lifetime on the front lines preaching the Emperor's truths and the bur and burning heretics has led some. has led Enoral to Inquisitor Grendel's service. And rolls a firm belief in the power of blind faith, hence the lack of eye holes in their helmet. Oh, but this does not make them any less effective. Guided as they claim by the Emperor's hand, and Oral has been responsible for many scouring of cult uprisings, putting a flame to any hint of rebellion on heresy that they, they, notice how they're saying they, come across. Now in Tertium, and Oral has truly found where they belong, with a seemingly endless horde of traitors, heretics, and heretics to kill. And Oral has allowed themselves, once again themselves, to feel a modicum of contentment for the first time since their childhood. Although this is the Emperor's work, uh, this is truly the Emperor's work that they do this day. Notice how they is prominent in all of this. This is tough. Oh my god. This is tough. This is so cool. Non-binary characters are dope. Okay, uh, this guy, I feel like we've seen this before, but... To achieve sanction from the Scholasta Saikana, Heiler Heingeist was forced to master the disciplines of mind protection. Although there were times when he thought that he... Notice how this says he, the other one says they. I'm just saying. Although there were times when he thought he would fail to become a fodder for the Golden Throne, he remained focused and passed his final battery of test. Even so, hi... Oh my god. Hengist? Hengist remains haunted by what he has seen, looking back at him from the hungry warp. Tightly wound Hengist keeps himself afoot, focusing all his energies and thoughts on the mission at hand. Stray thoughts are anathema to him. For though, for who knows where they might ultimately lead? Uh, wow, I'm un blah, blah, I cannot read. It is almost a relief to find himself in combat where he can release his mental energies to blast the foe and unleash pent-up emotions that build up within his overly anxious mind. Hey, Hengist fears nothing more than quiet time spent reflecting. God, he's just like me. Nice pants. I'm not a big fan of the helmet or this really, but the pants are dope. <clears throat> All right, this person, Dax Karakin. Kind of, kind of bulky, kind of cool, kind of cool. There's no mistaking the squared carapace armor and distinctive camo scheme, uh, scheme worn by the Cadian Karskin shock troops. Uh, 
These elite warriors have made a name for themselves in the battlefields across the galaxy from the Cadian Gate to the Ice Sword of Lorne V, exemplifying what it is to be a grenadier in the Astra Militarum. Uh, other, another less well-known mark of the Karskin is their tendency to tattoo a Cadian Sea Eagle on their neck. Well, can't see this guy's neck, so... Dax does, doesn't seem to have this, but insists he served with the elite Cadian unit for joining Inquisitor Grenda's service. Rumors about that he changed upon the armor, uh, chanced upon the armor and decided to adopt the background, reasoning that the similarity of his last name would add credence to his claims. As long as he fights like a Karskin, does it really matter? When veteran guardsmen flee, the Karskins stand. When victory is near, the Karskins seize it. When the arch enemy attacks, the Karskin elite are a rock upon which traitors shall break. General Stern, commander of the Cadian 412th. Cadia stands indeed. Alright, let's see what the individual cosmetics are. Oh, no. That is tough. Device for wear for on vast experience of blasted rocky planes, a rib scrub lens, sparse force. This camouflage pattern is incredibly incredibly versatile, finding favor amongst a number of sage commanders from late Emma from Commander Emavar of the Kars Karlak first, the Lord Militant Baros of the Mobian Guard. Oh, that is tough. What does that say? Uh uh some probably like victory virtue and I don't know, something else. Helmet, Cadian Flak Helmet. We've had this in store before. This is coming back. We've had this as well. I don't think we had it in this color, though, so that's good. Oh, this weapon trinket's kind of dope. Oh, it's a casing with... Oh, that's, that's... That's tough. Okay, Zealot. Oh, I kind of like that. I like the Imperial Eagle with the lightning bolt. Uh, This mask. I don't know if we've had it. It's fucking dope, though. This cage is back, and then that's going to be in all three of them. Yep, that was... Oh, now they're just selling it individually. Okay. Uh, I think this is rotating back. This is kind of dope. The gold is cool. This is rotating back. I, th I thought I had this one. And then that, and then for the Olgren. Ooh. That's kind of cool. That, that pair well with this, to be honest. Uh, this is kind of cool. Oh my god, this is tough too. Oh my god. Oh, but that's. Oh, that's for all weapons. Yeah. Yeah, and. Oh, that is. I do like that one. Although the one I have more, I like more. I do like this one a lot, though. Uh, Alrighty, cool. Well, that's Stay the new. Safe. That's the new cosmetics. If you made this far in the video, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, or don't. I'm not your mother, but you better have brushed your teeth. Now have a good one.